My name's Lynn Dunkley Rodney. I am 52 years old. I'm a divorcee and I have a 14 year old son, Daniel. Five years ago, I was very busy, very busy single mom. Basically, I was working full time. My son was um, at junior school and once I finished, then I was picking him up from after school club. It would be quite late by the time I, I got home to prepare a meal. So we were fast food junkies. My lifestyle dictated really what I ate. It was, you know, trying to juggle work and bringing a son, you know, my son up by myself. It was a struggle. I was drinking quite a lot of water, I would say at least three to four litres a day, and I was going to the toilet very regularly. I was very overweight. Um, I was at least 17 stones. I was feeling unwell, um, very lethargic, and I was admitted to Dudley Road Hospital in Birmingham. The doctor mentioned to me that there is a higher risk of African Caribbeans getting diabetes, which I was not aware of. My sugar level was so high that they had to put me on insulin immediately. Basically says to me, you're one lucky lady. This disease is a silent killer. From knowing nothing and then all of a sudden you're told that you have a disease that's going to be with you for the rest of your life, it was an absolute shock. I had to go and see my local um, diabetic nurse and she mentioned that there is a possibility um, that I could be off the insulin through diet and exercise and I really needed to hear that because I felt it was empowerment for me. I decided that I'm going to do something about it. One of our main um, dishes that we have in the African Caribbean culture is rice and peas. It's a rich, rich dinner. So I've had to give up most of these things. Um, I wouldn't say totally. So I have some things still, but I do um, in moderation. Another favorite of mine is, um, is chicken. Before all of this, eating it with the skin, but I now realize that, you know, most of the fat's stored in there. So if I do cook it with the skin, you know, I take the skin off um, prior to eating it. I was never a salad fan, um, didn't like it, but I do now. When I'm making my salad, I design them. <laughs> so I make it look attractive on the plate. There are certain vegetables that I like anyway and um, carrots, beetroot, I absolutely love beetroot, and just making it look nice and make it attractive so that I want to eat it. Part of my, I, I would say, exercise regime now could be hoovering, so I'm a fanatic now for hoovering. I go for a walk with my friend Paula at, um, at our local park. Sometimes we power walk, sometimes we have a good laugh in between, but um, by the end of it, you know, we've had an hour, an hour and a half of exercise. Sometimes when I come in from work, I get this bee in my bonnet and I say, yes, girl, get up. And I will just go walking by myself. I just put my headset on and I absolutely have a power walk. Think about what it's going to do for you. It's going to help with your sugar level. It's going to keep it down. And so it motivates me. When I come back in, I feel great. And I think, wow, I'm so glad I went out. And these are some of the little things that you can do that can make a difference. My son and I, we play a little bit of um, badminton, not that we're great, but again, it's another way of us having some time together, of him coming off the console and also getting some exercise. Since changing my lifestyle, my eating habit, I actually lost um, three stones. 
hooray, it was absolutely great. Um, you feel better, you look better, you walk better, you even think better. Um, not easy. I have, you know, put on a little bit because it's hard to maintain, it's hard to keep, um, keep up, but um, it's a constant, you know, keep going. I can say through the diet and exercise, um, I'm now off the medication. The first thing that I came off was the insulin. And I have got a pair of jeans in my wardrobe. And when I put those jeans on, I know, girl, you have arrived. You have reached your target. And um, yes, the future is bright. I was a dead man walking. The time has come for me to take action. I was 17 stone two, and now I'm 12 stone, and I feel absolutely brilliant. Now I actually feel excited for the future. You're told that you have a disease that's going to be with you for the rest of your life. It was an absolute shock. I love my life now. You know, there's a future and I'm going to live it, believe me.